welcome back to our channel before we get into today's video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not done so already so for today i am going to be showing you guys how i make this t-shirt i'm going to make it in white instead of black though um i've gotten a lot of messages um asking where i get these shirts from so i just wanted to let everyone know that I actually make these myself and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I make them. So I already have this design because I saved it from the first time that I made it. So I don't have to create the design all over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right here. So that's the design. And when you're working on a Cricut design space, all of these, even though it's one image, so if I select this, it's all one image. Um, like it all moves around together. It still prints out different, like each color prints out separate. So you have to make sure that when you're cutting or printing, or, or when you're designing, I should say, that each thing that you want to be a different color is a different color also on your design. So the first thing I'm gonna be printing is gonna be the black. So I already actually have a couple little cutouts that I'm gonna use because I don't want any vinyl to go to waste. So these are about the size that I'm gonna need. One is probably a little bigger, um, but you have to keep in mind that every different size that you do, every different size shirt, your design is also gonna be a different size. So like for me, I, us I usually wear a small t-shirt. So my design can't be bigger than nine and a half inches or 10 inches because then it's gonna go too far off to like under your underarm and you're not gonna be able to see it. Um, for like a large shirt, I go 12 inches. I don't go lar larger than that. And then for like a youth small, which is Jasmine's, hers is usually about eight inches. Um, and then Jordy's is usually about five inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. So the design is already done. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit make and it automatically is gonna split all my colors up. So for this design, there's only two colors, which is red and black. So it split my two different design, my design in two different colors. And then when you're ironing on a shirt, you have to make sure that you have your mirror on because if you don't, when you iron it on, it's gonna iron on backwards. So you're gonna hit this mirror on here and I hope you guys can see it because it's literally black on black. You'll see it better on when I do the red one. But when you hit mirror, it flips the design backwards. So when, you're, when it prints onto or when it cuts the vinyl, it's cut backwards and then when you flip it to iron it on the shirt, it'll be not backwards on the shirt. I hope that didn't confuse you guys, but anyways, so I went ahead and I flipped it. Now we're gonna go ahead and make or uh, cut the design. This one is uh, six inches wide by two and a half inches, well, five and a half inches wide by two and a half inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up a little bit so I make sure that when it cuts, it doesn't cut off of my vinyl. So I'm gonna do it six by three. So this one probably is a red. This one's seven by three, but I'll go ahead and I'll just use it um, because it's just an inch off. So I go ahead and I put that right on on the exact numbers that it's showing on your grid. I'm gonna place that on my mat. So on my grid on the computer, it literally starts at like zero and then it goes to six, but I'm starting at zero and I'm going to seven because my vinyl is seven inches long. And then you're gonna go ahead and place it on the Cricut.
And then you're going to hit cut. Ever since we went to the Elvis Presley house, Jasmine's been hooked or like addicted to all his, on all his songs and I was just humming one of them. Like she just keeps singing them all day long. Now it's connected. I don't know what's going on here, but it's connected, but it's not finding my printer. Let me close everything out and reopen it again. Seriously? Okay, now it worked. I don't know where. By itself. On its own. Alright, so then you have to select the type of paper that you have, which mine is vinyl. So I'm going to leave that there. Sorry, you guys can see the ring. And then the tools will be the blade because we're using the blade to cut the vinyl we're not using the marker today and then we don't want fast mold we just want it to cut at its normal pace so then you hit you press cut on the cricket and it automatically starts cutting Guys, I seriously need to get a new mat because my vinyl is like not sticking. This is what it looks like. It's all cut. Now it's the fun part. Now we have to peel it. So we take this little sharp tool here and we start peeling it. I like to open a little opening before I peel it from the corner because Sometimes these little things, it's hard to open it from the corner. Like I struggle from that. So I like do a little rip and then I literally start peeling it. And usually all the shirts are pretty easy. The shirt that is the hardest is Jordy's because hers is so small, so her letters are so small, so it's super hard to like peel hers. But here you go. So the I'm A U is all done. Don't mind my fingerprints, guys, because this is sticky. But yeah, so that is the I'm A U. Now, we are going to select the red part. So the red part here is right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit that mirror. We're gonna edit it. And we're gonna turn that mirror on. And now you're gonna see it flip, watch. You see? So now it flipped. So the red has to be eight by three. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out right now with you guys. And again, I have some red too. I like, I don't throw out my little pieces because sometimes they're big enough to like use them for a next time. So this one is a little 
like i think it'll be enough but i don't like risking it so i'm not gonna use this one i'll probably use this one for jasmine or jordy's shirt but for my shirt it's too small so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some from my little roll and then the eight is this line right here And I'm only gonna cut, make one shirt with you guys because then the rest is literally the same. So we have our eight by three here. This is a little crooked here. So like I said, I like to kind of straighten it out a little. Faith by family thing at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and that one, for some reason, that part didn't save. So I'm gonna go ahead and create it here with you guys. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys can see it. So we're gonna go ahead and go back, whoop, back to our canvas and then it's asking us if we're sure we want to cancel the cut and I said yes so here I literally have to ungroup this because I'm trying to get this font again so I have to ungroup and now that's going to separate them Five 
five families. Subscribe if you haven't already. Woo, woo. Tap. Challenger Pro. There we go. There we go. And then now we're gonna go ahead and change that width to nine. Yeah, I'm gonna go nine. So now we're gonna go ahead and make it again. But when I make it, I'm gonna hide these because I already cut those. So I'm not gonna cut those again. And then I'm gonna bring this up. And we're gonna go ahead and mirror that so it's gonna flip it again like I told you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and cut. So this one it's nine inches, but I'm gonna cut 10 just in case because we always wanna make sure that we have enough vinyl on our mat. So this is another piece that I already have left over. And this one is 12 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because I could use this, I think for Jordy's shirt, because her face, her shirt is so tiny, her face by family, like tiny. And then it's by two inches. And I always cut it like a slightly bigger, like when I go two inches, I may do two and uh, 2.25 inches because sometimes when we're cutting, we go crooked, you see? And I didn't notice it. So I like to start a little bigger for what, that when I do go crooked, I can try to strain it up as much as I can. one was already crooked from previous times. So I'm gonna strain this one out too. Okay. Ah. Okay. That would probably be enough for Lionel's too. All right, and then again, we put it on our mat. Side down and then we hit it on there. Ah, hold on, something happened. Let's try this again. Yeah, this is because I need a new mat. Okay, so um mirror is on perfect, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut. And I have my finger on it, guys, because I told you, like, my mat is not sticky. That's why I can't grab the camera and, like, show you guys what I'm doing, because I need a new mat. But um, I am going to be making some Valentine's Day shirts for my employees at my job. So if you guys would like for me to do that or uh, show you guys when I do that, I'll definitely have a new mat by then. So I can actually show you what I'm doing when it's cutting because I don't have to hold it because it'll be sticky. But yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me do my co-workers Valentine's Day shirts. All right, so here it is. And now we're gonna go ahead and peel it. So this one, it is very hard to peel because the letters on this are so thin Oh my gosh, guys, when I do this on Jordy's shirt, like I literally want to cry because like they literally want to come off when I'm pulling it off, the letters. And I have to fight with them, guys. It's so annoying. Like her shirt, I always do hers last because hers takes me forever.
it is. Day fun family. There it is. Perfect. You know what? For some reason, this looks bigger. Even though I shortened it that much, it still looks bigger. Oh well. All right. So now I'm gonna grab you guys because now I want you guys to see what I how I put it on the shirt. So now I can use both of my hands. So I can definitely show you guys this. I I really want to show you guys like how I push the buttons and everything, but I couldn't because one of my hands had to be holding the thing and then the other one had to push the button. So that's why I couldn't show you guys. But um definitely the next time I make sure it's all have a new map so I can definitely show you guys in depth everything. Um but for right now we're done with the cricket so I'm gonna move all this over. Let me grab you guys. All right guys, so now for the shirt thing. I did tell you guys I was gonna do my shirt first. So here's my shirt. The brand that I usually get is the Gildan. Um, I like this one because it is 100% cotton and it's already um, like pre-washed, like some, I don't know, like pre-shrunken or something. Yeah, pre-shrunk. So you don't have to wash these before you use them. A lot of times when you just buy regular shirts, like um, like nice little, not t-shirts, like shirts, let's just say, and you want like a little cute logo on it, those shirts, you have to wash them before you actually print on them. And I don't like that because it kind of, you can tell like it was kind of washed already. So that's why I like these because they're already pre-shrunk. So you don't need to wash them before you um, stick vinyl on them. So as I told you guys, mine is a small. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stand up so I can show you guys what I do. Okay guys, so here are all of our pieces. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my iron and it has to go up to 320 degrees before you do anything on a shirt. So I'm gonna put our little pieces aside here put them up here actually and um and then i'm gonna lay our sh my shirt out a lot of people like fold the shirt in half to find the middle i just measure it because when i fold it in half sometimes i feel like the sleeves i don't know like i can't get it right on the middle and i feel like the sleeves are not like where they're supposed to be so i just measure everything when I go ahead and do it all right so the iron is all heated up now I'm gonna go ahead and pass the iron because you have to pass the iron on it before you lay your vinyl out or down on it I should say so I literally just iron it right here And we're gonna go ahead and start with YouTuber because that's gonna be easier to um, center. And then we'll go ahead and do the I'm A at the end. So for the I'm a YouTuber, I'm gonna go down, or YouTuber, I should say, and the play sign. I'm gonna go ahead and go down about five inches. And I'm gonna put my nail right there, my mark, the mark of my nail. And I'm gonna go ahead and start placing the words. And I'm gonna try to stick them all together so I don't have to place each thing as I go. So I'm gonna cut as close as I can to everything, making sure everything is straight. Like here, I have to cut the T. And I do this because if it's not centered, it'll all already be stuck together. So as I pull it up from the shirt, everything will come with it. And 
again, making sure everything is straight. And then our little play button. Okay, so everything is straight right now, but I can already tell it's not centered. So I'm gonna literally pick these up and try to bring it a little bit more to this side. This is the hardest part, guys. Like, when it's different pieces like this, like I already went to this way when it's different pieces it is so hard to like lay it all out together take my ruler and I measure it so this is about three inches and this side is three and a half so that means that it's still not centered this side still has a little slightly a little bit more than this side so we go ahead and move everything again and again, this is the most time consuming part is like trying to find the center and like trying to straighten everything up. And it's funny because the bigger the shirt is, the easier it is to cut out the vinyl, but the smaller the shirt is, the easier it is to find the middle because everything just fits perfectly on the shirt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and measure it again. This is three and like one line. And this is three and three lines. So we're getting there, we're getting there. We are certainly getting there. three and two lines and three and two lines. So now we are perfectly in the middle. We are about five inches. It went a little higher, but I'm not gonna move it because we're in the middle. So it's staying like that. Um, it's literally just went over like two lines of five inches, but it's fine. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and place our iron on it for 20 seconds. So I have my timer for 15, so I always do it an additional five seconds. And then we go our next one. All right, and then again, I go again, one time all the way across to make sure everything is down. I don't slide it though. I just literally put a little bit of pressure on it and we peel it off. Ah, okay, hold on, something's not right, something's not right. I think this is the Cricut vinyl. <laughs> Guys, I do not like the Cricut vinyl. If you ever do this, do not get the Cricut vinyl. I love this brand right here, Scissor. It's more expensive, but I promise it's better because this one, you can literally peel it off when it's hot. Like. Cricket, you have to wait till it's warm to peel it off. And it's so hard to peel the plastic off. Um, oh my gosh. I don't like Cricket. I don't like when Lionel gets me Cricket, but sometimes he goes to the closer store, which is Walmart, and they don't have the scissor ones all the time there in stock. Ugh. Something is messing up, something is messing up. I can't, I don't like this, I don't like this brand. And I didn't realize that it wasn't, cause it doesn't say it, like once you cut it, it doesn't say what brand it is. So I didn't realize it. And I pulled it out too soon. I wonder if the U is, see the U is scissor, cause the U literally came right off. right off the U came right off so the U and the Ima is the right brand This one's still pretty hot, so I'm not gonna peel that one off yet. And I'll start placing the Ima until that one cools off more. So Ima, I put it 
a little to the middle of the play button and the Y on YouTuber. Yeah, so you have to, for the Cricut brand, you have to wait till it gets warm. You can't peel it off hot. I like peeling it off hot. That's why I love the sister brand. So now we're gonna do Ima, and then we're gonna do the Fade 5 Family. And I think this Fade 5 Family is still a little too big, guys. I'm not liking it. I may save this one for Lionel's. I'm gonna go ahead and make a really quick one for me again. I'm gonna probably make it eight inches because I'm not liking how it's looking with the um with the one I just did. All right, guys. So I ended up uh, making the Fade Five Family slightly smaller. Cause I didn't like how it looked that big. So, and I still think it's still a little too big, but I'm not gonna keep wasting vinyl. So the first one, at least I can use it on vinyl shirt. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and center the Faye Five family. And it's on four and one line and five. So it's definitely not centered. Now it's on four and six lines and four and six lines and four and six lines. Okay, so now it's centered. So again, we're going to go ahead and put it on there. And this should be the scissor, so this should come right off. See, that was easy. That's why I love the scissor brand. And then the I'm A. We just gotta make sure it does not touch our one that we already did previously. There we go. All right, and that is it guys. So now we iron the shirt and it's all set. I'm a YouTuber, Bay Five family, it's all done.
So let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys liked it. Uh, let me know if you guys would like to see more videos of me doing our shirts. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye guys!